Hello guys and welcome to Bush Life and we're getting straight into things in today's episode. I've got some nice new signs that I've done up. And we're going to have one facing yeah, that way. Because today we are turning the ruin where the old bush tent was into a dirt mine because let's be honest in our time over there we didn't get better dirt from anywhere else in the bush that the soil there it was it was rich it was good it's what we want so we may as well use it now i need to get my nails out and if you guys um by the end of the video have enjoyed and find this interesting me doing stuff in the bush i would kindly ask for your subscribe but I'd wait till the end of the video before you subscribe because you don't want to subscribe to something you won't want to watch so uh, make sure you're into it first my content is a bit different than others but it is interesting nonetheless if you take the time to get into it alright that should be in enough oh no my sign split Well, it's one way to begin the episode by splitting my sign. Let's hope the other nail um, goes a bit better. Probably take that nail out and redo that. Try here. Well, we got our sign in and a random piece of wood. Now, I've got another sign to put up as well that I've done up for the garden area as well. I'm thinking we put it somewhere like here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I might hammer this in actually just on the ground, just so I can get that nail in. We've got one in, um, quite the effort. These trees have thick wood, so it is quite hard to get in. Drop my nail, but we got it back. Get that other one in. Shift this a little. Oh, that's gonna be... Had a bit of issues getting that sign in, but overall, it should stay up, which is what we want. I've got some poles here basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little miners shelter because from now on 
this spot here is where I'm going to get all my dirt from to use at the new bush tent. And well, last I checked, there's no harm in having a few poles here. So I should be fine with all that council stuff. I don't think this will cause a problem at all. And if it were to get found, it wouldn't be a big deal. It's two poles and then a bunch of naturey sticks. I don't think you can get angry at that. But then again, you'd be surprised, but you know what? I don't care. That's a problem if it comes down to it. I'm not harming the environment at all. I'm just using it to my advantage. And last I checked, that's not an issue. Probably put something up the back there to stop that from moving. Now what I'm going to do here is nothing fancy, but I'm going to go get the old uh, piece of cloth and I'm going to put this over the top. It's not going to really serve as much of a shelter, but I don't need to use it as a shelter. It's just a little place where I can go when I'm getting my dirt. I'll just store a few small things here, that kind of stuff, and I'll try to do up the place a bit because at the moment it looks a little bit of a mess. And we'll just try and make things look a little bit nicer around these parts once again. Oops, tripped on it. big spider on it. Look at that. It's a big boy. Alright, I just gently bumped it to the ground. It's fine, no harm was caused. It's, um, right there. I think he's a bit confused, but, um, I can't have him in the way. I don't really want to get bit. I don't know if he can uh, cause any damage, but better safe than sorry, you know? Alright, well here's my shelter, um, spider's in here somewhere with me, so I guess he's just a, he's a feature of it. But yeah, it's not much, it's just a little something out here, and I got this old floorboard still, must have fallen off, so I'm just gonna put that here. And this rock I found in one of my talking videos on my other channel, Tea and Biscuits. I don't know how it got all the way over there, but it's from the anniversary video. We're just going to put that here. It used to be painted blue. It's not now, obviously. I'm going to keep this here just in case. If you're wondering about these things, I keep them down here just in case of a wild animal like a dog were to come through. It's good just to have a little bit of defense, or even just to use it to... Whack a tree, make some noise, try to scare them off. So I'm going to keep this here. 
just in case of an emergency. I think I should be fine, but as I said, better safe than sorry. Now, I need to do some cleaning up in that area there, because there's just a bunch of dead trees dumped there, and it's... I don't... I'm not going to go out of way to make this the prettiest spot in the bush, but, um, just a bit of a clean up. Move all this junk out of the way. That's a rock hard soil right there. This might take a bit more work than I originally thought. It's uh, rock hard. There we go, we're making progress. Slowly. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Spread that out a bit. Put one of these in. Alright, so I've put one of those bamboo things there. I put the pipe thing in the old pond. I've got that there. And here's what the place looks like. It looks quite nice. To me, it's, I don't know. It's not the most professionally built thing, but it has a certain feel to it, you know. I don't know if you guys understand, as I said, you might take a while to get into my content. I ain't building no cities down here, I'm building small little stuff like this. And the fun part is seeing how it all changes over time. Over the next year, it'll be really interesting to see how nature works its way around this. So trust me, that's always the fun part. Seeing how man-made objects like this succumb to nature. Trust me, that's the fun part at the end of the day with what I'm doing down here. Seeing everything evolve over time. Alright, well I am satisfied with what we've got down here today. Uh, it feels good knowing that I've repurposed this old area. It's not just known as a ruin anymore, it is the dirt mine. And use it for dirt we shall, because I've got some new plants that have uh, just been dropped off to me on the weekend. I will be planting them off camera, there's no point dedicating a whole other episode just to planting another three plants so by next episode you should see um what i've got and i'll do a quick little show paper at the beginning of the episode to show you what i've planted which i will be doing shortly um this is my last video that i'm filming before i go camping for a week i'm going for a seven day trip and if you want to follow me on that trip i will be releasing a vlog on it on my creeks and camping channel when it is finished so you can always check that out and next episode of Bush Life, I'm... Thought I just heard something behind me, just think it was stick stuff falling. But in the next episode of Bush Life, I'm hoping to get Beautiful Partner over to film some stuff. We're hoping to film episode 72 and... 70... It might just be 72, I'm not too sure. I've got a bit of a plan for what I want to get done because uh, if you don't know I'm going to be taking a break from the series soon just to focus on some other stuff. It might be a month break or something like that, not too sure. But um, I've got a list of stuff I want to do before I go just so I feel I've left things relatively complete after the move. So um, yeah, that's what's happening there. Uh, I'll update you guys more in the coming episodes but do stay tuned if i have won you over there is a button to subscribe you can always press that i'd prefer you guys watch the whole video um before you subscribe so you actually know what you're getting yourselves into because it can be a bit weird down here at times but um yeah i've changed i used to just ask the subscribers but um i guess at the end of the day the truth is you gotta win them over so, that's why I ask you to watch the whole video before you consider.
Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. I've rambled on long enough. You're probably bored out of your mind. Uh, you might have probably not even made it to this part, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.